there's two things that we say uh, at Jake and Gina. One is you can't outgrow your infrastructure, which is exactly what you're talking about. And the second thing I, I love to hear this. I've heard this from one of my mentors. Revenue is vanity. Profit margin is sanity. And cash is king. Everyone's always looking at the revenue aspect. I mean, so much pops always used to tell me it's not what you make, it's what you keep. And I, I think that's really, really important. The cash that's at right. the end of the day, if you can't manage your cash, it doesn't matter how much you're bringing in. You have to understand a balance sheet, an income statement, a statement of cash flows. And, and a lot of business owners don't know that. And if you don't know that, go back to school and learn that. That's so important. It's, it's interesting. We speak to so many other apartment owners that don't actually know their profit per unit. One of the most basic, you know, KPIs that we use. And so it's just, it's, it's, it's a very good point, you know, um, anything uh, we're about to wrap this up, anything that you've read, uh, over the last year or two that you want to recommend to the folks, anything that's added value to your life from a business perspective? No, I mean, um, I think life is experiential, right? I mean, I, I think, I think we learn mostly from, you know, what, what we do and what we experience. And I, I think one of the best things that has happened to me in my life is I have uh, failed a lot. Uh, I was humiliatingly fired by uh, CNN in a very public, public way. And I had to pick myself up from my bootstraps and uh, rebuild myself, rebuild my name and rebuild my uh, you know, my, my, my value. Uh, and, and I think, uh, if I was to leave, I think that worked out for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it did. And, and by the way, if, if you haven't fallen lately or failed, find somebody and tell them to trip your ass because it's in the falling <laughs> down that you get up and you're better. It just good God. Every time, every time in my life, when I've fallen, I've always ended up on top and in a better situation. And I don't know why, and, 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 and I wish I had the exact formula for it other than, you know, perseverance and all the other uh, fun words that we like to throw out there. But there, there's something about falling on your ass that just, I think, in the end, makes you a, a, a better person. And in the end, the only thing that makes you good is value. That's it. One word, value. You have to find value in yourself so that you can succeed whether you're a tycoon apartment home owner or a uh, guy who just bought a McDonald's franchise or whatever, right? What's the value? I mean, I, I, I was, in fact, uh, reading a book recently and the author, I forgot his name, I should give him credit, I apologize, said, a um, young man working at McDonald's and his job is to throw out the trash. And that's all he does every day. He throws out the trash. So you'd think he'd be very replaceable, but he does something funny. Every time he goes to throw out the trash, he sings. And he's got a really nice voice. And as he's taking the trash out to the dumpster, all the employees say, oh, God, there comes Bill. I love the way he sings. And he's always got that smile on his face. And he's always happy. And he sings and he makes everybody else happy. So by singing, he created value out of a crappy job. And that Bill went on to become the manager of that store, owned that store, and now he owns five other McDonald's. And what did he do? He created value in himself. He sang on the way to throw out the trash. That's the story of how you become successful. You create value in yourself. That's all it is. 